Hello, dear ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad to see you all here today. And uh, today we are going to talk about our next channel in the system of 12 main channels according to traditional Chinese medicine. And that is a small intestine channel. Let me remind you that uh, it's our regular webinar devoted to the channel system in traditional Chinese medicine and it's based on their works of a Veda Pulse team specialist, reflexologist and uh, practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine, Sergei Kasintsev. Also, he's one of the authors of our Veda Pulse acupuncture extension. And everything that will be presented today, including schemes and PowerPoint presentation, it was, all was provided by our expert. And I'm here to voice his ideas and to share his thoughts with you. My name is Anastasia and I'm a manager of technical support team. Hello, my dear. Also, let me say a few words about our new webinars platform. You can see that we changed it and now it is even more up to date and uh, I believe that it is easier to use. So I hope you will like this innovation. So let's start our webinar. Most of all, knows our standard plan. And first of all, uh, we are going to discuss small intestine channel, its main characteristics functional use and uh, also methods of influence. Today we are going to discuss small intestine channel, its main characteristics, projection area and functional use as well as power points of a small channel, pacing of the small intestine channel and sure location of biological active points of this channel. Please let me know on chat if sound is quite good, just write anything. OK, thank you. I can see that you can hear me. So we can continue our webinar. Small intestine channel is also called Shou Tai Yan Xiao Chan Zin. And talking about its functions, we should mention that it's hand meridian. And uh, it goes mostly along upper limbs. Taiyan means that it is connected to the system of uh, urinary bladder channel. Xiao Chan is small intestine in Chinese and Xin it's a special word meaning channel or meridian in Chinese. So you can see that it's a Yan system a system of Yang energy. And it's located mainly on the Yang surface. Uh, in, and that's a special feature of this channel. Uh, it goes uh, on the edge of our upper limb, our upper extremity. So this zone on the edge of our hand. It's the border of yin and yang energies. And it's quite interesting moment. Sometimes it's not so easy to find biological active points of this channel. Um, but today we are going to examine it and investigate it. And uh, I hope that after today's webinar it will become a bit more clear for you. You can see it belongs to Tai Yan energy axis. And that is the topmost energy axis. It means that it is the first level that protects us from all external influences. And it includes two powerful and strong energies. I'm talking about um, urinary bladder channel and small intestine channel. And they are systems of fire and water. 
fire and water um, influence uh, our health um, and uh, we can say that uh, even foremost uh, exactly fire and water influence our health it, they influence our ability to be successful in life and uh, they influence our energy level and it depends exactly on the balance between these two systems of fire and water uh, whether the person will be able to cope with important tasks whether, whether the person will be a success that's why a balance between ordinary bladder channel and small intestine channel is very important. Our protective energy also depends on this balance. What does it mean? It means our immune system. Uh, the small intestine channel is responsible for our immunity on mucous membranes as well as for resistance of our organism to allergies especially to some food allergies you know that uh, all unhealthy food including fast food fizzy drinks some long-term storage food uh, or food with preservatives with some flavoring agents all these unhealthy food can be a reason for a disorder on our energy and as a result on physiological levels for example we take too much carbohydrates we don't need so much of carbohydrates but we take it from unhealthy food and it also leads to an imbalance on energy level but uh, the channel of a small intestine it is connected to the fire element and to the yang energy and you know that yang energy is very intensive energy so if for example the heart channel is responsible for emotions of a person then the small intestine channel should be also mentioned here it's not only about um, protective functions as I said not only about immunity but also it is connected to our emotions and if the heart channel is first it's responsible for it then it is the second channel that uh, sustains emotions of the heart uh, the heart is the center of our emotions it, uh, it's the place where emotions arise but the system of a small intestine they uh, are responsible for the functioning of emotions for how it will be realized in life mm, that's why for example imbalance in emotional sphere uh, can lead um, to some cramps uh, and uh, you know that emotions they can influence our digestive system functioning and our intestine functioning and this connection is uh, is very important because emotions can influence um, on digestion on how we can take uh, nu nutritions from our food how can we digest them and also it's uh, important uh, to bring these nutritions to all parts of our body as we said during our previous webinars everything is connected in our body so all systems should get energy and how we consume our emotions how can we cope with this uh, that's uh, a function of our intestine and it depends on our intestine functions maybe you watched some modern papers 
uh, some modern works of scientists about uh, so-called emotional intelligence. If uh, it used to be only IQ previously, like mental intelligence, then now there is a new term which is called emotional intelligence and it's very important now. Uh, scientists and sociologists say that it's very important uh, to be able um, to take part in communication. This communication ability and as well as an ability to match uh, the company, to match the society. It's one of the new and very interesting indices that uh, now some scientists are trying to measure. And from Chinese traditional point of view, it is exactly the fire element which is responsible for this ability to communicate. That's why today we are talking about it, because uh, they are two channels connected to these functions. Uh, the first is small testing channel and uh, the second, its paired channel, is the hard channel that we discussed before. According to Ayurveda, this meridian belongs to Pitta Dosha. Pitta Dosha, fire element and emotions. Uh, these are keywords. And uh, by the way, both as Chinese medicine, so Eastern tradition, they agree about functions of this meridian in the point. Let's discuss main characteristics of the small intestine channel. First of all, as you can see, it is responsible for reception and transformation of the nutritional substance and the energy. And it is connected to our emotional, physiological and mental levels. That's all parts of our life and they all are interconnected. That's why biological active points that we're going to discuss today uh, have a common influence, have a common effect for all these spheres of our life. So the small intestine channel uh, influences our blood, our cardiovascular system and our nervous system. So, you can influence the uh, psycho-emotional condition of a person using biological active points of this channel. Don't forget about elements and uh, it's very important to remember. We've got a circle of elements, five basic elements and all of them are interconnected. So, all our life is integrative and we can say that our life is a merger and interconnections of elements. And these elements are not statical. They are connected to each other and they can transit from one to another and uh, interconnect this way. And there are different theories talking about it. Sure, the very first is in Yang energy theory. Also, we should mention Usin theory, theory of five elements. Uh, there are also more complicated theories, uh, and they are connected to Usin system. But due to these theories, we are talking about different phases of the energy. Um, as, for example, each biological active point can feel it differently. 
in each channel if we are talking about this point from position of USIN system. But today we should answer the question, talking about this channel, what does fire mean in our life? What does fire mean in our um, energy, in our uh, physiology? And to answer it, you should just imagine the fire. It's dynamic, it's warming, and it can enlarge upon all directions very fast. It is connected to expansion and to heating. So, uh, these are some basic association with fire energy. It means that such systems belonging to this element, they contain maximum of young energy, maximum of moving and of energy. You can use this association just um, to our today's channel, to the pair of channels that we, men that we mentioned. Fire and water. They should be balanced. So, if they are balanced, then everything will be in order. So, you can just think it over a little bit and estimate how much fire do you have or how much water do you have if they are balanced in your personality. Um, because fire, as we said, it's uh, activity, it's dynamic, and water, it's um, ability to be moving, but it's more about calm way of moving. And water always tries to take all lower positions. It is moving, but it goes down. It's trying to take all lower positions in our body. But the fire, it needs a lot of attention. It needs to show itself, to manifest itself. Uh, it needs shining, lightning, and being up, upmost. And it needs warming. So try to use these images, and maybe it will help you just to realize it a little bit deeper. Going back to um, main characteristics of a small ch intestine channel, don't forget uh, about our blood system, blood circulation system, um, because it's exactly the blood that brings this uh, warming that fire gives to all cells in the body. That's why this system of a small intestine can influence our blood. Cardiovascular system, it's always about blood moving, blood circulation, as well as about our emotions. When our emotions change, our heart rate, rate changes. Uh, for example, when uh, we are excited, our heart rate increases. And if we are relaxed, and if we feel at ease, then our blood circulation and our heart rate uh, is um, smoother. And first of all, uh, here we should talk about the small intestine channel. Then it's functioning smoother. Then our pulse wave is also even. It's soft and it can move along all our body at the same smooth pace. Uh, from technical point of view, our heart um, is the main organ here, um, but 
at the same time you should understand that um, heart it's not the only element in this system of blood circulation and uh, it should be mentioned um, for example circumferential resistance of our vessels or micro pumping function of cardiovascular system as not the heart's functions but as a functions of a small intestine system uh, sometimes the name of this system can be a little bit confusing because European tradition says that small intestine it is connected only to digestion but it's not everything we should not stop here in our understanding this Chinese system because um, it's more of European tradition uh, and sometimes European tradition cannot just mm, explain why we are talking about vessels but in the name of a system where is a uh, intestine mm, but remember that it's a Chinese tradition and it's a kind of translation from Chinese texts all our universe and all our world is is a common with the body of a person according to this ancient tradition it's a holistic way of understanding of our world uh, but now uh, some modern people uh, they don't have such a powerful perception uh, it's too much for an average person just to realize it as one common part of the universe uh, so that's why we are trying to um, put some parts just to take everything into elements to simplify everything and we are talking uh, about physiology and about some mental aspects mm, without any connection without strong connection uh, we, we simplify it to make it easier to understand it's but uh, at the same time it's something as as they say too many cooks can spoil the broth then too many mm, people for example or systems uh, are responsible for one uh, project then we can forget about some uh, important things and you can not get the proper result just missing anything Mm, that's why we shouldn't understand about this diversity of elements in one common system and we shouldn't forget about common uh, regulation effect when working with biological active points sometimes we need uh, to see details but sometimes we need a more holistic way of understanding what's happening to our body and to our patients uh, this system of a small intestine channel opens into the tongue and all ability of moving um, of the tongue depends on this system's functioning mirror of a channel is a complexion and uh, in a norm it should be uh, slightly pinky If you see some pale face or grayish face, it means that there is not enough fire. Because it, fire uh, always goes up and uh, it goes to the upper part of our body. And the face here, it's like an indicator. A fire should manifest itself in our face. 
bitter taste is connected to this system. Uh, that's why, um, by the way, um, bitter tastes um, of different herbs or other um, treatments, they often influence our cardiac rate and our cardiovascular system because bitter taste is very important here. Joy and fun are emotions of this system and if person uh, cannot feel joy and fun and uh, similar emotions, if he doesn't feel it, then it means he cannot produce uh, inner warming, um, cannot reach the joy of life. And there is one um, traditional question of shamans. Uh, they are asking, um, how can they understand when a person gets ill? What is the moment of getting sick? And the answer is very clear, very simple. If a person stops getting joy of life, then he is ill. And how should we understand it? Then he stops enjoying his life. It's very simple. If a person cannot dance and if a person doesn't sing, it means he's unhealthy. So such a simple um, way of diagnosis from ancient shamans. And it's really important to express emotions because doing it uh, we are realizing our uh, young conditions. And um, such a such a complicated uh, emotions as love and openness, uh, they are also depend on it. But don't forget that any emotion should not um, be too long in time, should not be too long term. And it's not possible just to measure it, uh, but all of us can feel it. You should try to avoid some uncontrolled fire energy because um, it can lead to expansion, to aggression, to anger. That's why balance is very important. If there is not enough of fire energy, then there is not enough of taste for life. And in this case, you should work with a channel of a small intestine. Uh, as you can see, it includes uh, very diverse functions. Not only bringing and getting nutrition, but also interesting emotional aspects. So you can see that uh, Eastern medicine knows everything that uh, Western medicine knows, but at the same time it's supposed uh, the balance to be the key factor. And also you can use, you can always use Veda Pulse options to measure this balance and to make diagnosis with the Veda Pulse device. Now we are continuing our webinar and we are coming to PowerPoints of the small intestine channel.
and as usually we are talking about main points points of five elements into space point with an algetic effect and about uh, points of diagnosis and points of mm, management um, more and shoe which belong to anterior and posterior surface of our body. And also we'll describe yuan point and low point. Points connected to, to, uh, to the in channel according to in yang pair of channels. First of all, we should mention Shu and Mo points. Mo point is located um, in the lower part of our abdomen. It is point number four along the anterior middle meridian. And it is located three tunes upper the edge of the pubic bone. And to find this point, we should remember about um, proportional cuts. And in this case, <clears throat> you should take the distance of five tunes of five tun uh, between the upper edge of pubic zone and the navel it means that you should divide this distance into five proportional cuts and point number four will be located three tun upper of the pubic area along the middle line. Don't forget that there are different methods of influencing according to traditional Chinese medicine and they can be divided into two serious groups like Jain methods and Zhu methods. If we are talking about Jain methods then it's not only about acupuncture, not only about needles, it also can be electropuncture, it can be massage, it can be some seeds applications or metal plates application. But when we are talking about some methods connected to warming, uh, then it means due group of methods in acupuncture. Everything that's connected to warming, uh, not only uh, warming itself, it also can be um, can be some ointments, maybe the thermic effect, or some pastes, as well as laser and other lightning methods. So you can choose in the Depulse acupuncture extension, for example, which uh, recipes you'd like to use, Jane or Zhu, and then uh, prescription will be different. Don't forget about this moment when working with the acupuncture extension in the Pulse. But let's continue talking about Shu Point. Let's describe it lo its location. We described Mo point, now it's time to talk about Shu point. Our Shu point is located in the lower part of our back, near sacrum. And to find it, you need to palpate sacrum. And uh, you should try to feel some deepenings there, like small fossa. And uh, you will feel it because uh, it's the place where our nerves come out. Shoe point is the point number 27 on the channel of urinary bladder and it is located a little bit aside from the upper sacral hiatus. Sacral hiatus is the zone of point number 31. So try to find uh, point number 31 and uh, just 
change your position, move a little bit aside. Uh, it's not really crucial if you don't find this point at once, uh, because these both points, point number 27 and point number 31, they both are responsible for our digestion and they both can influence uh, the whole Taiyan system um, because it's a common energy system. That's why when you are influencing some of these points with common effect, then uh, the element that needs mostly will react. So, don't be afraid to practice here, as our expert Sergei Kasintov says, but at the same time be careful. And if necessary, don't forget just to read about some locations and descriptions of biological active points, because even if you are practicing, it will be not excessive, just brush up your knowledge a little bit. So, now let's go on and let's move from our body to our upper limb, to our upper extremity. The first point of a small intestine channel, that is EG1 point, and in Chinese it is called Shao Tze. It can be translated into English as small source or little source. It is located uh, on the external side of our little finger. You can see it on your screen now, on the left part. Just near the root of a nail. It belongs to the metal element. And that is a specific point to influence uh, our mucous membranes. It's no matter uh, where inflammation is, so it can be any mucous membrane with inflammation, but this point can influence that problem. It's very strong and powerful point, and there is only one point that is more powerful, a Hegu point. We were discussing it. Hegu is uh, point number four in the channel of large intestine. That's the only point uh, which is more powerful than uh, EG1 point, point number one in the small intestine channel. If necessary, you can combine these two biological active points, Hegu and Shao Tze. Mm, there is interesting effect for women, and in lactation, they can use these points to support lactation, to sustain lactation, uh, and uh, prescriptions, including these biological active points, they mm, help to, to support production, producing of milk, but it doesn't mean that, it doesn't mean that men cannot use these points, that's just okay for men also, but uh, when we are talking about uh, male prescriptions, then it will be connected mostly to uh, specific symptoms of a small intestine channel and uh, influencing mucous membranes. The next point, point number two, it belongs to the water element and in Chinese it is called Tiangu and it can be translated as anterior valley. So, it's like a poetic name of this biological active point. It is located in front of a joint. Please pay attention, it's marked with a red color on the second picture. 
uh, normally it's a very small fossa, small deepening. But Chinese language is very figurative and um, maybe even a little bit exaggerative. So <laughs> normally it's like a small fossa, but it is called anterior valley, <laughs> like if it's really big one. What's a specific point uh, to eliminate hiccup, nausea, and also it can be used to stop vomit. You can see all these symptoms, they are connected to the uh, energy backflow. Uh, that means uh, if our energy goes in the wrong direction, then they can get such symptoms, as I mentioned. For example, in vomiting, uh, then food just trying to get out, it means that something is wrong with the energy flow here. Energy should go uh, in a proper way, and our food should go down. And that's just uh, very similar for our blood circulation. Uh, so that's why this biological active point uh, can be helpful uh, when we've got some excessively emotional conditions. Uh, for example, you know, sometimes uh, we say uh, like uh, blood surge to the cheeks. In this case, Tiangu point can help to calm our energy down. It can be useful in menopause, in hot flashes, and other similar conditions. The next point is point number three. It is called Ho Si in Chinese. It is connected to the wood element and can be translated into English as um, backflow or back current. It also can help us to struggle the black flow or black sorry back flow of energy. Uh, but this point uh, even more powerful than the previous one because it belongs to the key point of the anterior middle meridian. And when we are making practice clipping of channels in the end of our webinars, uh, then uh, we always start working from from launching energy circulation circle, uh, starting from this point, from the point of anterior and um, posterior middle meridians. It's like a uh, on point, <laughs> start point, we can say. You remember, mm, you saw it in the previous screens that uh, this channel of the small intestine, it uh, is located uh, near our ears and it can influence this area as well. For example, if there are any um, allergic symptoms um, in these zones, we can work with biological active points of this channel. And one of the most powerful and spasmolytic points, it will be point number three, Hosi point. It can make some cramps easier, especially if you combine it with the point number two and point number three of the liver channel. Okay, thank you for staying with us. Please let me know if the sound is quite good. Can you hear me? Just write something on chat if you do. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, Susan. Nice to see you here. Thank you, our specialists. Okay, fine. Let's continue our talking. And this tab at point number four. Oh, we should start discussing this point now. And it will be point which is called Wang Gu in Chinese. And to find it, you should pay attention to the bones of your wrist. It's also a powerful and interesting biological active point. It belongs to Yuan category. It means that it is responsible for our inherited energy in the system of small intestine. And first of all, it provides a specific effect in the different uh, allergic renees. Uh, I mean in different um, nasal catheters. If you've got some problems in this here, you can use this biological active point. Uh, at the same time, it can be a good point to uh, balance your weight, to make it more stable. If you need to decrease body temperature, it's also useful point, especially if uh, a person has a high temperature um, accompanied by some excessive um, excessive uh, sweetness, excessive sweat, sweatiness, sweat. Uh, in this case, point number four can help you. If you are talking about women, it will be a specific point uh, to cope with a headache during menstruation. And uh, if your patients uh, have such a similar problems, then you can recommend them in two or three days before the date of menstruation, uh, just start massaging this point. Or, for example, it can be done when feeling some symptoms of uh, uh, premenstrual tension, then you can start massage this point, point number four of the small intestine channel, and uh, it should uh, be helpful in this situation. To find it, you should pay attention to the age of your hand. Uh, just take your hand, try to feel it, uh, touch it and you will feel a long bone. Then this long bone finished, there is a small deepening. If you are moving your hand, you will feel it. Just move your hand to feel it. It's a common thing for all biological active points located in the wrist area, in the hand area. If you need to find a point, try to move your hand this or that side a little bit because there are a lot of small bones and it's easy to find biological active points if you are moving your hand. Uh, when you find a point, then just stay in this position, leave your hand in this position because it means that this point is open now, if you felt some special um, feelings. Because if you cannot feel the reaction of a point, it means that in this position it can be close. So try to move your hand a little bit and try to feel the response of a biological active point. The next point is point number five.
Hello. Hello. Uh, we are testing our new platform, so please let me know if you can hear me. Hello. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Uh, I'll start again from biological active point number five. What's interesting point? Mm. A distance between point number four, four and point number five is very small. It's, it doesn't exceed one centimeter. So that's why we need to be mm, careful here to find the exact point. First of all, you should feel where small bones of your wrist finish. You should try to find end of small bones. Again, find a small fossa. And it will be point number five of a small intestine channel. In Chinese, it is called Yang Gu. It can be translated into English as a valley of Yang, or another way is uh, to translate it is a sunny valley, a valley connected to sunshine. It is connected uh, to the fire element. That's why such interesting naming. At the same time, you should remember that this is point which we call the element in the element point. Because the whole channel of the small intestine belongs to the fire element, and this point uh, of the element in the element is responsible for the core idea of this channel. So you can influence uh, everything connected to that uh, through the point Yang Gu, because it's the key point in this system, element in the element point. It is Yang um, fire point, but it has interesting effect. It can reduce heat. So. It can it can cool heat. Mm. At first glance, it can be strange a little bit, but there is a traditional rule in, in Chinese medicine: any beginning, then reaching its maximum, like for example here, it is point of a fire in the fire channel. So uh, each beginning which reaches its maximum uh, can only can only reduce its idea if working in if working the wheat and if you are interested in uh, this rule exactly and in other ties of elements due to Usin system, then you can read a little bit more about so-called FAST-C theory. It is called FAST-C, or another way it is called Shen Wan. And if you are interested about it, Sergei Kasintsev asked me just um, to get your feedback on this question. And by the way, uh, we are interested in your feedback and we are interested in some topics that you would like to know more about. So we'll be grateful if you share your ideas and thoughts and probably in this case together we'll be able to make our educational sessions um, even more exciting and interesting for you. Uh, but now let's continue with our today's topic and uh, let's say a few words about point number five also. Um, first of all, um, if we need some um, energy stimulation, then uh, we can use biological point number five, Yangu point. Or we can use also point number three, 
cosy point uh, because this point num point number three it belongs to the previous element uh, due to usin circle circle of five elements and that is wood element in this case why we are not talking about point number four one good point which also belongs to the wood category um, because it is yuan point and uh, traditionally yuan points uh, they belong to the element only nominal uh, where main idea is connected to the inherited energy so that's the reason uh, why we are talking here about point number three not number four mainly so point number five Yangu point uh, can reduce heat and also it can calm your mind it helps to find uh, the right answer in the right moment that's why sometimes it is called strategic point and if you see a patient did some um, confusing ideas maybe some confused person uh, you feel that um, here some stimulation of mental type is necessary then try to massage Yangu point uh, which is the fifth point of a small intestine channel it should help your person to find the right decision to make the right decision to find the right answer if we are talking about uh, anatomical level, about physiological level, this point will be useful first of all for diseases and disorders of eyes and ears. Next point is point number six. It is called Yan Lao and can be translated as um, um, nutrition for elderly or happy elderly as for me it's very interesting uh, to know these Chinese names of points because maybe they are not really uh, accurate but uh, they have uh, essential idea why we need these points so I would recommend you to pay attention to these translations just to get their core moments maybe you are also interested in such uh, knowledge to find the sixth point you should put your hand uh, at your chest as it is shown on your screen now and pay attention to the position of your hand to the position of your arm that is position uh, then point is open and then it is able for influence if previous points uh, were located along the edge of the hand uh, so uh, talking about point number six we should say that uh, it is located to the zone of transition of our age of a hand to their inner surface it is located near the steloid process so put your hand uh, at your chest and try to palpate bones uh, from the side of your little finger there is a small outstanding bone you should feel this outstanding bone and then 
move closer to the center from it. Uh, there is the sixth biological active point of this channel between forearm bones. It will be useful for elderly people. You know, our vital energy, it uh, does not uh, start reducing at once. It's a long process and it's a dynamic process. Uh, firstly, there is a growth of energy and then there is such a little bit uh, stable level and then it starts reducing. And uh, it's a process that we cannot change, but we can influence it and we can uh, make it slower. That's why it's important to take your time and uh, to do right actions in the right moment. All prescriptions uh, for the life prolongation are optimal after 40 years. So, people uh, in the age of 40 or older, uh, they are the target audience of prescriptions, including such biological active points for life prolongation as the point number six of a small intestine channel. And there is one special moment about women here. Uh, after um, giving birth to children, uh, women feel a lack of energy. And uh, it's a period of energy restoring. And in this moment, it's important for a woman to sustain her energy. And such biological active points also can be used and will be useful uh, in spite of the fact that uh, she is not 40 or she is much younger. Anyway, it's time to use such points uh, which are also sometimes called like um, nurturing of vitality. They are mm, point number six that they are discussing now, Yan Lao point and also uh, point uh, number six in the channel of kidney or six point can be used here. It has similar effect as Yan Lao point but uh, it is even more stronger. But its effect uh, is short term effect. Effect of uh, point number six in the small intestine channel, uh, it is longer in time. That's why when working the, this combination of points, you should start with a point number six in the kidney channel and then continue, sustain its effect with a point in G6, Yan Lao point number six in the small intestine channel. Uh, talking about these uh, life prolongation prescriptions, we should mention that there are a lot of uh, interesting biological active points that can be used for it and located uh, in the area of ankle joint. So you can pay attention to it when working with different biological active points in your practice. Now we are continuing and here are next points, point number seven and point number eight. Let's start with the point number seven. It is low point for this system and then we are we're talking about point number eight, uh, which is the last in the Usin circle, uh, the last element of element.
But first of all, let me ask you a question, please. How do you think um, this F element, uh, how does this element influence fire element? Do you have any ideas uh, what type of biological active point uh, it will be for fire element? So if we take point which belongs to the earth element, then what will be the effect of this point for the fire system? Two elements, earth and fire. How are they connected? In the case of these questions, you should also always think about the circle of elements, Usin circle, and uh, you should uh, remember about the location of this element due to this circle. Then, after that, it will be uh, quite easy to see that here will be sedative effect for this system. So the point of the off element will be sedative for the system of the small intestine due to Usin theory, due to theory of the five element circle. That's why probably it will be better for us to start with point number 8 here, because it belongs to the Earth element. Yes, first of all, we are talking about point number 8 now. It is called Xiao Hai, can be translated as a small C. And that's uh, a common fact that in China, a lot of biological active points in the area of the elbow and in the area of the knee, uh, they are connected uh, with water in their names. So that is small c, point number 8. It is located um, at hands. It is located at hands. Cell high is located in the place uh, you should uh, have felt it, mm, for example, then you just suddenly mm, beat your elbow, uh, for, for example, just about some angle of a wall, mm, in an awkward moment, just touch it uh, in uncomfortable position, when you feel a very strong response, in your elbow, uh, like an electric response. And the zone of this response originating, of this response rising, it is exactly the Xiao Hai point. It's easy to understand. It's exactly the place where a nerve comes out. It comes very close to the surface of your skin. Uh, that's why if you bend your arm in the elbow joint, try to bend it uh, as much as possible and uh, start palpating the area uh, near the edge of the elbow process. Mm. Imagine the line connected your, connecting your elbow and your small finger and uh, try to feel this line near your elbow. And if you find this point, you should feel some unpleasant feeling. Uh, and if you press uh, with uh, some excessive effort, then it can be uh, some nervous reactions, uh, even like like uh, jerking, twitching, something like that. That's exactly the point that we need, point number eight. 
in the small intestine channel. If you don't feel anything unpleasant, it means that you didn't find this point or you are trying to find it uh, in the closed position. You remember we said that points uh, in the wrist area and also uh, here in the elbow area, they can be open or closed uh, depending on the position of your arm on your hand. So try to move it, try to find it, and I'm sure you'll find this point which belongs to the earth element. And let's come back to now to the point number seven. To find it, uh, first of all, you should remember the location of the point number five in the small intestine channel. Uh, because a distance between point number 5 and point number 7 uh, is equal to 12 proportional parts. So, find point number 5 and from this point just move 5 soon to find point number 7, EG point number 7. That is low point in this system and it is connected uh, to other biological active points. Maybe at first it will be not easy to find it because uh, as I mentioned uh, there are a lot of points here and the distance is not so big, but uh, when you are find when you are searching for it, uh, you should remember about some um, deepening. You should try to feel this deepening just over the bone, and if you are find if you are searching for it, uh, try to press it. Try to press uh, the zone where you suppose point number seven is, and uh, when pressing, you should feel some um, extension feeling. And because low points are all very powerful, very active, and uh, there are always a response. It can be a local feeling or even some feeling with a radial effect because low points are powerful points. So, EG7 is low point for this energy system and it brings energy to the uh, C7 point and low point uh, C5 brings energy to the system of a small intestine point to EG4 point. You can see it on the screen now. It allows um, to make some regulations of energy exchange and uh, allows to make redistribution of energy between uh, the system of the heart and between the system of the small intestine. According to Ayurvedic scheme, the small intestine channel belongs to Pitta Dosha. If we are talking about about pulse diagnosis, please remember about uh, husband and wife rule. In today's pair, the channel of small intestine 
will be a husband. So it means it is the main in the pair and it is the main comparing to a channel of large intestine. That's why there is a connection between biological active points EG number 7 and GE number 4. So it is the right way how we should work. Uh, and it is exactly the small intestine channel that should dominate here. That's why when you are watching Meridian scheme in the VEDAPULSE software, and for example, you see that these two meridians are in the green zone, but uh, they, do, they don't correspond to the rule husband and wife, so the balance is wrong not correct due to this rule. Uh, then it's an indication for you to pay attention to working of uh, energy in this system because it can be just the beginning of some pathological process. Thank you dear Susan, I can see. Uh, sure or we'll be waiting for you and I hope you will like our webinar in recording. Let me remind you that uh, you can always watch the record of webinar in your personal account. Uh, to do it, just use our site vedapulse.com and uh, don't forget to log in to get an access to all your records uh, that you purchased earlier. Let's continue now. And this stopped exactly hmm, at the moment uh, talking about uh, the rule um, husband and wife. And uh, it's not uh, the first level of analysis. It's, it lays a little bit deeper. So if Meridians are in the green zone, but mm, this rule is broken. It's a sign for you mm, to analyze meridians deeper and to pay attention to them. We continue our webinar. And let's uh, have a look at the course of a small intestine channel and let's analyze uh, which systems are connected to it. Anatomically, it goes along the arm and uh, in the face area. It goes along the edge of a hand. Then there is a transition to the inner surface of forearm. It goes along the back surface of the shoulder and then, as you can see it on your screen, uh, in the area of your blade and shoulder there are such zigzags. That's why uh, all disorders connected to the rotational uh, function of the shoulder, any disorders of this function, mm, they are connected to these systems. Then it uh, continues and it goes into a few branches uh, to the face. And there are different positions according to these branches uh, in Chinese literature and sometimes even you can find different numeration of biological active points in this zone uh, so sometimes you may see that um, there are, will be such a lines, uh, like uh, line uh, but not uh, radial lines. Uh, anyway, like in any scientific approaches, there can be different theories. But if you got a pain in the area of your face, in the area of your ear or 
in the zone of uh, mandible or upper jaw or maybe somewhere near the external corner of your eye then in all these cases you should pay attention to the small intestine channel you should work with biological active points of this system uh, talking about inner course of a channel should mention that it starts from the biological active point E12 E number 12 uh, in the area of a neck there is a branch to the back um, middle meridian and exactly to the point number 14 of this meridian and to the point uh, number 12 which we mentioned it is connected to the paired organ to the heart and it allows to connect the small intestine channel uh, as well as in the area of the uh, biological active point number 14 so in the area of uh, low extremity uh, to the channel of urinary bladder because urinary bladder channel and small intestine channel are connected due to energy access Taiyan. Talking about projection areas, we should mention that they are connected to the area of urinary bladder. Mm. So pay attention to the all biological active points, uh, including biological active points near sacrum. Here are some indications for working with um, biological active points in the face area. And you can see that there is a projection of a small intestine channel in the face. For example, uh, the organ itself, small intestine is an organ, it is located uh, in the center of a forehead. Uh, and uh, that's why just any changes in this area uh, they are indications for disorders in these systems. For example, any rushes in the area of your forehead mean that something's wrong probably with your, with your nutrition, with your diet. Maybe your body is not able to digest what, what, what you are eating. So pay attention to it. And if we are talking about energy structure, then there are specific points in the face for men and women. And male specific point is on the left side and female specific point is on the right side, as you can see it now. And now it's time for us to start our practice part. We are starting working with this energy system. As usually, you should start with launching small energy circulation circle. The first key point of the anterior middle meridian will be EG3 point. Massage it slightly for a short time 
maybe one or two minutes till you get some feeling of response. Then start clapping along the entire middle line and don't forget that each next clapping uh, should should take uh, the middle position between the previous and uh, the next zone like you are touching the zone that you already clapped and uh, a part of new zone that haven't clapped yet. And start moving from the pubic area along the middle line um, of abdomen till the area of your chest. Then go to your neck, to your throat. Be careful with the throat. Clap here slightly. Be tender here. That's very sensitive zone. You shouldn't feel any unpleasant moments then walking with your throat. Then continue clapping in the area of your uh, lower jaw and lower lip. And then you should uh, start working with the posterior middle meridian. To do it, you are activating point number seven of the lung channel. So press it, massage it, pay attention on this point and on the energy direction in the anterior middle meridian because it's a traditional rule where the energy goes so the same way your Shane spirit goes. Shane spirit is our thoughts, it's our mental ideas. Uh, that's why you should pay attention to biological active points when working with them. You should think about it and uh, it will be useful like additional effect uh, to establish a right blood circulation and right response in this zone. So after you've activated uh, biological active points P7, uh, you continue clipping. You should be you should be standing and walking in the area of your sacrum. Then you go in along the back middle line in the lumbar area to the thoracic area, then neck area, head uh, until you up to your forehead area. Be then there is a nose. Work with it, but carefully. Maybe only with your fingers, uh, not with the whole hand. Uh, then there is upper lip, and uh, you are finishing your walking uh, with your tongue, touching biological active points finally in your mouth. So uh, you connect it anterior and posterior middle meridian this way, and you launched mm, small energy circulation circle. After that you can start working with the small intestine channel itself. You remember that it is connected to the yang energy and it is yang hand meridian and we get yang energy from the sky. So this energy goes here in this way. Start clapping mm, near the edge, at the edge of your palm. Then continue moving to the uh, wrist joint, to the radial carpal joint. And on the inner surface, you should continue moving uh, to the side in the direction of your elbow, in, to your elbow process. Don't clap very strong, it's not necessary. Then go along the back surface of your shoulder to the forearm. And here a lot of depends 
on your joints. Uh, so it's easy to do if you put your hand back uh, to your to your back and sometimes maybe it's easier to use the inner surface not a palm here bend your elbow and uh, try to clap your blade use the second arm and try to get the first arm. Try to make your hands meet. If you are a success here, then it means that this energy system works fine. Uh, if you cannot make your hands meet, you can try to take a book, for example. Then continue working on the side surface of your neck move to the face and in the area of the mandible in front of your ear you should stop at the external corner of your eye and that will be the final point for working with the channel of small intestine let me remind you that month of uh, the small intestine channels activity is July so now it's exactly that month when biological active points of this channel are more active and don't forget that there is a small difference between traditional Chinese calendar and our today's uh, common calendar so uh, this biological active points of the small intestine channel will be more active up to the, to the 8th of August. If you need, don't miss this chance and just walk with them in an active way. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. I hope that you liked our webinar. Please leave your feedback on our website and send uh, all your questions uh, to the email that you can see on your screen. We'll be glad to answer your questions and thank you for being with us. Bye.